I have the visors here. I still need to uh, go ahead and install them back on the car. They're all painted. They're dry. Of course, they have been for a while. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. You know, not uh, they don't look brown anymore. So I got my screwdriver. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on the car. All right, I got both visors installed. They look pretty good. These uh, metal pieces right there, those are the uh, brackets for the convertible. I'm gonna take those off and paint those when I do the top. And I did get the cup holder in the mail today. So it's this piece and then this uh, lower tray. And it also came with a, a larger uh, cup holder like for a coffee mug, but I don't have that in here. And you can see that stupid uh, shift boot during the day. Pisses me off, but I've already ordered a new one and I'll probably have it by the weekend. So it'll end up working out. So the interior, actually, I still need to do bolt doors. I got those handles. I don't know when I'll get to those because I need to take the doors all apart. But when I take them apart, it'll allow me to go ahead and uh, clean and paint any other trim that I didn't get to. Like those screw covers right there, those need to be painted. They're faded for some reason. And the door panels are a little bit loose. They're not really installed all that well. So let's see that. Still need to paint this back carpet there because it's a little purple. And I think I'm going to get some seat covers to uh, throw on these seats. The seats themselves are in really good shape. Um, the, the cushions and everything, it just, that one's kind of worn. Oh, I also need to, I'm going to refinish these seat belts. They look dirty, but I've scrubbed them. They just need to be painted black. So they'll end up matching the e-brake and the center console, which looks really good. Now that I look at this, I think I will paint these these switches red to match the outside because there's just a lot of black right there. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna repaint these red. So these uh, press buttons and the, the window switches will end up looking really good. Still want to get a stereo for this thing, but all in all, the insides really come a long way. It's clean, and uh, I'm gonna do the top. Like I said, I have pretty much all my parts. So that the top is gonna be, you know, probably like a most, most of the day affair. So I'll have to do that one of these weekends. And there's a whole lot I wanna do to the outside, of course, painting and uh, refinishing, and, uh, you know, trim and stuff like that. Got those belt moldings in. So, oh, the other thing I need to do, actually I'm gonna do right now is throw those pedal covers on. Let me grab them. All right, there's what they look like before. As you can see, one is gone. The sun just happened to be shining on it. And this one is trashed. So hopefully these shouldn't be too hard to pop off. Always had trouble with these things, getting them to stay on there. But luckily this one has come off in pieces. <laughs> So I think this is a two-handed job. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on, and then while I'm down here, I'm gonna clean up that dead pedal and clean up the gas pedal a little bit. So let me go ahead and do that. Well, I got them both on. It wasn't too difficult. Just required a little bit of finagling. Got the dead pedal cleaned up, and I got a coat of paint on the gas pedal. It's still drying. So, you know. Little changes like this make a big difference. Um, who knows how long that brake pedal cover has been missing, but definitely a safety issue, if you ask me. I mean, you don't want your foot slipping off there when it's wet. So, slowly but surely, the inside's coming together. That's what I was talking about, about the door panel. Um, I got a... Looks like it's just uh, popped off there. Oh, I see it. The blue clip back there. So I'll need to take this all apart, and I might replace those speakers. I don't know what they are, what size they are, but I know I have a set, um, I think, that might fit there. But up close you can see 
Yeah, that just needs a little TLC. This is all going to be replaced because it's broken on both sides. Don't ask me why. Um, I want to definitely paint these uh, thresholds. I like to maybe if I can find some cheap scuff plates, I'd pick those up. So details like this, I'll repaint all this. The sticker's coming off, so I'm gonna try to save that as much as possible and uh, just get some clear tape and tape that down. That'll be really difficult to get. Although I think you probably still can get it from the dealer. I wanna definitely do something with these seat belt, seat belts. You can see how faded they are from the sun. Um, some fabric paint on there will be okay. And there's the purpleness back there. And I actually found out that there are speakers inside here. I didn't see the perforations, so I didn't think this car had them, but uh, it does have the headrest speakers, so that was a pleasant surprise. I will do something with this steering wheel. Um, if I can find a factory steering wheel with the leather on it and it's not destroyed, I'll go ahead and pick that up. Probably definitely one of the next body things I want to do is repaint this finish panel right there. Pop those emblems off, take the tail lights out, and give it a spray. I can't believe this thing is not broken, because that's very common for these things to break, but it's in really good shape. I don't know if I mentioned, but this, this did come with the, uh, the top boot. So I have that. I don't know what kind of condition it's in. I didn't really look at it. But I think that center stack looks much better. Get some seat covers on there. Unless, of course, I can find a good condition driver's seat, which I probably won't. These cars are old at this point. They're really hard to find. So it's definitely coming along. Well, even though it's dark out, I'm going to uh, try to pop these emblems off of there. Get this finished panel ready for painting, which I will probably do over the weekend. So, just have it backed in. I don't have it in the garage, but I got the lights on and uh, plenty of light. So, should be able to get those off. I'd like to do something. The emblems came off actually pretty easy, a lot easier than I thought, uh, in one piece. So, looks like they've been off before, but I'm not surprised. I mean, it's an old car. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I got a razor blade. I'm going to just try to scrape off as much of this adhesive as possible. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to end up sanding this down uh, lightly anyway take the plate off and I might start sanding on the bumper cover tonight. So, don't really have anything else I want to do. At least it'll be some progress. I am going to go ahead and start sanding this. First I'm just going to kind of scrape off as much of the loose clear as I can. And I'll end up just feathering feathering in uh, whatever is solid and not coming off. So, I mean, other than some gouges and missing paint, really not a whole lot bad about this bumper cover, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Well, I got all the clear peeled off of this, and it's all scuffed and sanded. It's a little teeny bit of clear left right there, but it's on there really solid. And that's uh, feathered in pretty well. A couple little gouges that I'm going to fill. I've got some spot putty. Hopefully I can find it. If I can't find it, I'll probably just um, mix up a tiny bit of Bondo. It's not the right thing to use. But, I mean, under the circumstances, um, I think it'll be fine. 
So then I'll really just need to pop this plate off, pop the lights out again, give it one, uh, one final go over, then it should be ready to put some paint on this weekend. And then I think what I'll do is just work my way around the car, panel by panel. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, gonna work on these spots a little bit more. I'm gonna leave the bumper cover on the car, I'm gonna leave the finish panel on the car. That's not technically the right way to do it, but it's the best way to do it for me because I don't have any kind of stands or anything, and quite frankly, I mean, this is, you know, a cheap car. It's going to end up looking a lot better. And I think it's actually going to look really good when it's done. So, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow is Friday. Should be able to work on this a little bit after work. It's getting there, slowly but surely. Ordered a couple more parts. Um, I ordered a stubby antenna. I can't believe it still has this whip antenna after all these years. I'm going to definitely spend some more time cleaning up the trunk. You know, I'll, I'm going to clean it all in there. I'm going to spray the red that's scratched. And I'm going to do the best I can to make this car look as close to factory as possible. You know, without spending a fortune on it. And of course, like my other vehicles, I'll go ahead and... Uh, tally up what I've spent along the way and certainly when this thing is nearing completion. So for now, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, come on, damn it. Oh, that sounds good.